House Martel started out as local kings in Dawn, which was long divided between many petty kings of the First Men and Andals. About a thousand years ago, Roinar refugees fleeing conquest by the Valyrian freehold in Essos migrated across the narrow sea to Dawn, led by their warrior queen Nymeria. Morse Martel was smitten with Nymeria and chose to join forces with her through marriage alliance. With their combined strength, they conquered and unified the rest of Dawn. To symbolize their union, the original Golden Spear sigil of Morse Martel was combined with the Red Sun sigil of Nymeria, creating the Red Sun pierced by a Golden Spear sigil that House Martel has used as a sigil ever since. Like their Roinar ancestors, House Martel styled its rulers as princes, instead of kings, and kept using the titles, resisting the Targaryen invasion and keeping local laws and traditions even after joining the Seven Kingdoms after a matrimonial alliance. The Martel words are unbowed, unbent, unbroken, referring to their history, in which they have never been successfully conquered by outsiders. This makes them unique among all of the great houses. During the Targaryen conquest, three centuries before the War of the Five Kings, Dawn was the only region of the Seven Kingdoms to successfully resist the Targaryens and their dragons. Realizing that large armies could not stand against dragons, as seen at the Field of Fire, nor large castles, as seen at the burning of Harrenhal, the Dornish instead resorted to guerrilla warfare, ambushing Targaryen soldiers and harassing their supply lines as soon as their dragons moved on to the next castle, then disappearing back into the harsh deserts when the dragons returned. The Dornish armies took advantage of Dawn's arid climate, which helped them to adopt attrition warfare against the invading Targaryens, as the arid climate and harsh wastelands of Dawn cannot easily support large invading armies. Losing many men due to attrition, Ultimately even Aegon the Conqueror decided to withdraw from Dawn, to focus on reigning in the other six newly conquered kingdoms. House Martel and Dawn have never been successfully conquered. Over a century and a half after the Targaryen conquest of the rest of Westeros, they were invaded again by King Daron the First Targaryen, the young dragon. A military genius, his conquest of Dawn actually succeeded, on the battlefield. But the initial conquest was followed by a four-year-long Dornish insurgency, in which occupying troops were again bled through ambush and guerrilla tactics. Lionel Tyrell, the steward that Daron I put in charge of Dawn, was then assassinated, and all of Dawn rose up in open rebellion. Daron I himself was killed attempting to put down the insurrection, and after only four short years House Martel once again ruled an independent Dawn. A few decades later, a little over a century before the War of the Five Kings, King Daron II the Good managed to finally unite Dawn with the Iron Throne, not through conquest, but by voluntary marriage alliance on equal terms. Daron II married the sister of the Prince of Dawn, and the Prince of Dawn married Daron II's sister. This special, semi-autonomous status allowed Dawn to retain several special privileges, such as the Martels continuing to style themselves as Prince, or Princess, instead of Lord Paramount and continuing their practice of gender-blind primogeniture. This union did cause several political tensions at the royal court between Daron II's pro-Martel faction and anti-Martel lords, from the Reach, the Stormlands, and the Dornish marches, eventually leading to the Blackfyre Rebellion. Generations later, King Ares II Targaryen, later known as the Mad King, had no daughters, so he sought a suitable bride for his son Crown Prince Rhaegar Targaryen from outside of the family. Ares II chose to snub the offer of Tywin Lannister, his own trusted hand of the king and dutiful servant, that Rhaegar marry his own young daughter Cersei. Instead, a match was arranged with the then-current Princess of Dawn to wed her daughter Aelia Martell to Rhaegar. In Robert's rebellion, Aelia was kept in King's Landing to ensure the continued allegiance of House Martell to the Targaryens against the rebels. Aelia bore Rhaegar two children, but all three were later killed during Robert's rebellion during the sack of King's Landing by Tywin Lannister's army. Aelia's brothers Doran and Oberyn were outraged and, while peace was restored, the Martells withdrew from interacting with the royal court. During King Robert Baratheon's subsequent reign, the Martells and Dorne were rarely if ever even mentioned at court, except for their Dornish wine.